We derive 4D spatiotemporal recovery of cloud microphysics using a small number of moving cameras. Clouds cause the largest uncertainties in climate change predictions because they highly reflect light and cover more than 60% of Earth in any given moment. The atmosphere, including clouds of course, is a three-dimensional, heterogeneous, highly scattering medium. Sunlight scatters multiple times in it and can be measured. To address important scientific questions, there is a need to retrieve the 3D cloud microphysics. This leads to a new type of CT, cloud scattering tomography. It is based on high-resolution multi-view images from space. Cloud tomography relies passively on multiply scattered sunlight. This creates a non-linear inverse problem. This is in contrast to medical X-ray CT, which uses a controlled source, a signal based on direct transmission, and an approximately linear inverse problem. In the coming years, the Cloud CT mission, funded by the ERC, is planned to provide data for such analysis. However, spaceborne systems are very expensive. It is difficult to deploy them in large numbers for simultaneous imaging of clouds from many directions. So, we study here CT of clouds using a small formation of satellites in orbital motion. During orbital motion, an image sequence spans and samples a wide angular range. During this time, however, the clouds evolve. Sunlight direction changes as well. State of the art includes 3D scattering CT and 4D linear CT. But 4D scattering tomography in both space and time is novel. Here, we recover two important microphysical properties, the liquid water content per voxel and the droplet's effective radius. The autocorrelation time of the cloud liquid water content is about 25 seconds. Hence, the liquid water content changes significantly during sequential imaging from an orbiting formation necessitating 4D analysis. However, the autocorrelation time of the droplet's effective radius is longer than the typical time it takes to acquire multi-view data of clouds. Hence, during recovery, we neglect temporal variations of the effective radius. We use an iterative process based on a forward radiative transfer model. Given the liquid water content at time t and the droplet's effective radius, a forward model yields a set of corresponding multi-view images. Comparing the generated model images to ground truth image data yields a data fitting cost and its gradient. Consider cloud images taken at n time steps. An iterative process recovers the cloud content at these instances. Consider the 3D liquid water content estimated at the kth optimization iteration. We calculate the cost gradient separately per time instance. We define an update vector G, which is a convex linear combination of the cost gradients per voxel across time and viewpoints. The combination weights are drawn from a temporal Gaussian. The estimated liquid water content per time instance is updated iteratively using this combination. Details on the update of the effective radius are in the paper. The state of the art assumes a static cloud during sequential imaging. Relative to that, our solution reduces the retrieval error. We also demonstrate this on real-world data acquired by NASA's Air MISP with 21 viewing angles. There, we have no ground truth, hence, we exclude the nadir image from the recovery process and use 20 out of 21 raw views. Afterwards, the missing nadir view is rendered using the estimated cloud and compared to the ground truth missing view. That's our 4D tomographic result compared to the state-of-the-art 3D static CT. Our solution is superior quantitatively as well. Some of our findings may be helpful in other fields, such as biomedical CT and flow imaging. We welcome you to contact us for more information and collaborations. Thank you all for listening.